29 learners were left injured when a versatile school bus was hit by a goods train at the Wilton Level Crossing in Mutare yesterday. According to the police, the bus driver was allegedly putting on earphones when the accident occurred. According to National Railways of Zimbabwe, preliminary investigations indicate the bus driver failed to follow level crossing rules and tried to beat the train to the level crossing, resulting in the accident. Now, there you have it. You know, I mean, there's, it, it's just like a comedy of errors, isn't it? And unfortunately, the end result is 29 children hurt. Think about it. He's wearing earphones, yeah? He's obviously speeding you know, because obviously he's trying to get to the road crossing before the train. He's trying to be a movie stuntman and beat the train at the level crossing with children in the bus. I mean, I, I, just, can't, I just can't make this up. They're ridiculous of it. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Preposterous and it's all, all because the no one is that? not following the road rules, not following level crossing rules. You can hear the anger in my voice, and I am genuinely angry because all you've got to do is follow the rules of the road, okay, and 90% of most accidents won't occur even. Yet... I don't understand the drivers out there. Look, look, there is no justification for this kind of behavior. Um, I think um, even uh, academic institutions in the country, we've got a lot of colleges and stuff. Mm. But I think the time has come that due diligence must be applied when choosing who gets to drive these school, school children. I think last month we saw um, a learner from Falcon College passing on. Last year we saw oh, um, a bus in, driver. In, in Mutare, you remember with the kids? Yes, yes, yes. And then we also saw another hey. driver that... Um, who was who had dementia when uh, they made their way up to Macheke, and it, it became a bit of a you know mm -hmm. a, a, of a, almost a disaster there. So I think the time has come that with the sprouting of these colleges, there must be script, strict rules that ensure that we get the best drivers, especially for the children. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, but. I think uh, Minister of Transport, he's, he, you know, he's trying to put things in. You know, we, put the, um, we put the speed inhibitors on buses. We've talked about uh, public transport. You have to be over 30, 30 and above. Um, obviously, the more police enforcement. Now we're going to talk about docking points of licenses so you can lose your license, particularly if you're, for example, DUI, caught under the influence, etc. So things are happening. But um, it's clear that there's going to be a transition phase. But in that transition phase, we need to save lives. I think that's the key. We need to just make sure that we just... Oh, I, I, you know, the, the amount of stories that we have. I mean, and look at this story now. I mean, our next story is exactly similar even. Eight people who were burnt beyond recognition when a bus they were traveling in caught fire in Rusape while on their way from a church gathering in June have been identified after DNA analysis. According to the police, the DNA analysis conducted at the National University of Science and Technology identified the eight as Charity Yamapfeni, Eni Miti, Agnes Miti, Gladys Gumiro, Viola Nyambavu, Winnie Chiremba, Margaret Mupangabure, and Bradley Mukwane. Of may, course. May their souls rest in peace. Our thoughts and prayers, of course, go to them and their families. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, it just shows you right in your face the, 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 the toll of what happens on our roads. And this was some, you know, just Anglican pilgrims just going, you know, singing and going joyfully mm -hmm. to worship God. And now look what's, where they are. Mm -hmm. and it, it just makes, makes me sad. Heart, it really does. Heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Yeah, it really is. Um, um, you mentioned, uh, just before we move on to the next story, mm. Andy, you mentioned the issue of the speed limiters. So yeah. you've got a scenario where um, for the speed limiters, um, buses and truck companies are getting um, certificates, but there is no technology in place at roadblocks to check whether a bus or a truck has a speed limiter on it. So, so in other words, good idea, again, down to implementation. Precisely. And guys, if we could fix the implementation part of our society, goodness gracious, how far ahead would we be? Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo Pazetian Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.